That's why you can't under you can't underestimate the devil because the devil doesn't want to see you blessed because he knows that if you get blessed, somebody else behind you gonna get blessed, somebody with you gonna get blessed, somebody that don't even know you gonna get blessed just because the blessing of God is upon your life. And what happens yeah, yeah. is that the devil wants you to take a thought so you can miss God. Look at a neighbor and say, "The Father knows what I have need of." The Father knows what I have need of. He said, "Take no thought for your life." What? You shall eat. He says, what? You he shall, shall eat. Uh-huh. Neither for the body. Neither for the what? Body. So therefore, he tells you, take no thought for what you're going to what? Eat. Not what? The body. Come on, read on. What you shall put on. So therefore, he tells you, don't take a thought what you're going to eat. So many times, we, we have a refrigerator full of food. Let me let me show you something. Some of y'all don't even believe this. Uh, now, let me go somewhere. Some of y'all will go right to Jack in the Box. Uh, you'll go to Burger King tonight. You'll go to Taco and Cabana. You'll go to one of the places. You have been 20. 200 times this this year and yet you'll go there and stand up and uh, and say wait a minute I, let me see what I want uh, <laughs> like the menu then change uh, you know what they got on the menu you already should know what you want when you go there but we'll stand in line like we don't know like that and change the menu God trying to tell you stop thinking about what you're gonna eat and God gonna feed you touch somebody and say God gonna feed me God gonna feed me amen go feed you but some of us, the devil will make you feel like you, 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 you just got to have something to eat. Yeah, Hallelujah. The Bible said neither for the body, neither for the body, for what, what he says, what you shall put on, what he says, what you shall put you, on. You don't have to worry about what you're going to put on. Y'all know how we go in our closet? We got a whole closet full of stuff. Some of that stuff, we know we ain't got a little wine. We need to throw away them, them hip huggers. Come on here. <laughs> that stuff that's got it all tight and got a stomach all rounded up. And we got to put on three girdles, hallelujah. One on the stomach, uh, one on the back, and, and <laughs> one for the lower parts of the body to keep all that stuff together. You might as well put on a whole body suit and, my God, and have an air pump in there to help you breathe. I'm going to leave y'all alone. <laughs> so the Bible says Neither for the body He says neither for the body what ye shall put on The life is more than meat He says the life is more than what meat. The word meat means nourishment Some of us don't understand that He can feel that God says I got your body I got what you can eat And you need to understand that I know what you have need of So when you begin to take a look At what everything around you that's going on You're going to miss what God is saying to you You're going to miss what God is trying to give you You're going to miss what God is trying to take you to Because the devil needs you to look at what you don't have Look at a neighbor and say I got to stop looking at what I don't have And start looking at what I can't have Somebody got a blessing with my name on it Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. So therefore, we be always looking. I, I, I know I know some of y'all say, well, you know, that was me. I'm just looking today about to cry because I didn't know how I'm going to make ends meet. God got your ends already, Amen. man. Amen. He said, I worked out the end before the beginning. Before you got there with broke for you, God already know you were going to be broke on such and such day at such and such time. So stop acting a fool. Amen. Because you can't pay a bill. Amen. Start thanking the Lord and God will make somebody pay it for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The life is more than me, and the body is what? More than raiment. He said the body is more than what? Raiment. So therefore, God said the life is more than what? Me. So therefore, stop filling your mind, your soul, with this junk that you got to have something to eat. Baby, sometimes some of us just need to pull away from the table because some Amen. of us got too much weight. I wish I could get rid of this six-pack. I mean, this 40-ounce. Glory to God, but it ain't easy to get rid of. It's easy to put it on, but it ain't easy to lose it. I wish I had somebody. See, some of y'all don't understand. God wants you to put the fault down, but some of y'all won't seek ye first the kingdom of God. So because you got everything else in your mind, how you gonna make your hands free? How you gonna get the children to school? How you gonna pay this? How you gonna do that? And the Bible said that the Father know what you have need. Touch somebody in here and tell them I got to keep my eyes on the prize and push toward the mark. Some some somebody don't understand that the Bible says the Bible says consider 
The ravens. He says, consider. The ravens. Watch this. How many of y'all understand that consider means to perceive and understand? Right. You cannot perceive nothing if you can't understand it. I wish I had somebody. See, Diggy feels if God tell you something, he needs you to first consider it, uh, and then you can perceive it, and then you get an understanding. So the Bible says, consider the raven, for they what? Neither sue nor reap. So therefore, he said that these jokers don't even have no money. I have nothing to sow, but yet they don't even reap. They have no money to sow, yet they don't reap. How are they still flying? I wish I had somebody to understand. How are they still getting around? And they looking good. Their colors are real vibrant. Oh, my God, they tweaking every day. Amen. How is that? Amen. And here we are, people. We crying in the morning. Started praying in the morning. We crying because we don't want to get up. We want to sleep until the blessing come. I wish I had. I wish I had somebody like me. It was a time I just wanted to wake up and wake up and not be in the, the 78, 18 Hertz Road. Wake up and not see a cock with a rope. Y'all don't hear me up in here. Wake up and not see a spider crawling. That was a time I just wanted to wake up and be in another place. But God says He know what. Thank you, Lord. He says, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap. Which? Which neither have storehouse nor barn. Wait a minute. Storehouse means secret room. <laughs> How many of y'all got some secret rooms? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, I, I ain't got that. Baby, you got some secret room. You got some snatch, some stash hid somewhere. You know, come on here. You can say what you want. Especially you married me and you married me. Always stashing something somewhere so that honey won't get it. I, I, I heard them talking about the honey dudes. Uh, but there's a place where men always trying to hide something because they, they, they give the wives so much, but they don't tell her about this. I wish I had. Uh, that's me money. Huh? That's my money money woman, uh, that's not your money. But God says, consider the raven, which have no storehouse. But us as people, we got storehouse. Baby, I got a freezer. You go to my house right now. I got a little chicken up in there. I got some ribs. Come on here. Got two bags of ice up in there because my ice make a make ice. I wish I had somebody. You got to come into a place to understand that God is trying to get you to realize you ain't got to act a fool because God got you. Look at a neighbor and say, God got me. God got me.